and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for all future content. I've waited until now to get this video out of regarding the brand new Ghostbusters Afterlife trailer. It was released earlier today and I think it looks great. It's intriguing, it's not showing any of the old characters and it's keeping the story kind of, kind of closed guarded. And the best thing about all of this is all the reactions the trailer is getting online. And oh boy, do we have a lot of little bitches crying about this. It's brilliant and I love it because all these people, they thought they were, you know, defending Ghostbusters 2016, which, come on, everyone needs to agree, it was a very poorly written movie. That was it. And some of these I'm going to read out now, they're just so funny. So it's actually on Bounding in the Comics as well, but I actually saw this tweet myself first, but I've now found the article. But what I'll do, I'll leave a link to the article below, and what I'm, I'll read out a few of these, but just go and have a read of them yourself, and they are just so funny. So first of all is NME journalist James McMahon. He took to Twitter, and to be honest with you, the guy is a complete fucktard, because this is what he says. Fuck that Ghostbusters trailer. You don't reward regressive fanboys, many of whom created an atmosphere of racist, misogynistic toxicity that led to a leading lady leaving this very platform by making the very film they wanted in the first place. First of all, this guy, is, he's just an idiot. But we're going to carry on because we have another person here, Matthew Rodriguez. This is what they've put down. LMAO, of course, Ghostbusters Afterlife is about family and lineage and legacy and all these other fucking white American values. It's literally a reaction to the idea of four women, including one black woman. The franchise must assert its real predecessor. But then he carried on saying, oh no, sorry, I mean successor. Well, it's not a success because the film bombed and to be honest with you, that film was terrible. And it's great because a lot of people did go on about it. And they look, oh, how dare you do this? And how dare you make a film? But one of the funniest ones, I actually say, was the following one. The new Ghostbusters trailer looks awful. And I'm sorry that we keep making Finn Wolfhard play Finn Wolfhard in a different city. Only way I can imagine enjoying this is if I imagine Paul Rudd as Scott Lang and Ant-Man is just like, fuck it. Time travel's real, why not ghosts? And the people who are going against this film, these are the ones who, they're attacking every single person in the world. They don't care what other people think. They think what they say goes. But again, people are showing these people now because their comment section under these tweets, they are blowing up and they are beautiful. But one of the best ones I saw was actually from Blake Northcott. And this is what they had to say. Great Wonder Woman, Ghostbusters and Black Widow trailers all within a few days. Which is very true. Wonder Woman, that just looks phenomenal. Black Widow looks amazing. And what's that? Both films are led by women? Oh no! Just because we hated Captain Marvel now, they all think that we need to hate women in whatever films they star in. Uh, no, that's not it. And if you all remember, Elizabeth Banks, she went out of her way saying if Charlie's Angels fails, it's because men don't want women. Well, I think Wonder Woman and Black Widow are going to show her up immensely. And again, you know, the Ghostbusters trailer looks great. And to be honest with you as well, even the James Bond trailer, No One Die, you know, so, um, No Time to Die. That looks awesome. I got him here. I love the Bond films. And this is Daniel Craig's last one, so he is going to go out on a bang. We all know that. And Blake carried on with the common thread. Studios are learning from disastrous and pricey 2017 and 2018 experiments. Don't screw with franchises. Don't mess with tone. Please customers, not critics. They're catching on. And that is the best one to describe up the entire thing that has happened over the last couple of days with all these great movies that are coming out next year. Again, when you have people like the SJWs and everything else and the ones who go against people 
Oh, how dare you? And all these times, basically, this James guy and your Matthew Rodriguez, all these people, they're the ones who are like, oh, we don't want them, we don't want this. But these people seem to forget. All the men, well, most of the men run Hollywood. That's it. It's money. And then, you know, they've given these people a chance. They gave Elizabeth Banks a chance. They've given all these other women chances. And to be honest with you, people are going on, oh, you hated Ghostbusters because it starred four women. No, we hated Ghostbusters because Paul Feige, the actual director and also the guy who wrote it, it was shit. That's why no one likes it. And Charlie's Angels, again, Charlie's Angels, it's a film that is out, out of its time now. It doesn't need to be in this time. To be honest with you, it's the same as if anyone made a Knight Rider or an Airwolf movie. They would all fail. They, they just would this day and age because people do not know them any. That's what it is. Charlie's Angels. If you see, you know, oh, do you know Charlie's Angels? Oh, Cameron Diaz and Drew Bymore, yeah. But it's, that's not what it is, really, if you think about it. The real Charlie's Angels, or the original ones, are the ones from the 70s and the 80s. That's where everyone loved it. But I just think it's great that this Ghostbusters trailer has come out. It hasn't shown anything, which, you know, there's no none of the original characters. There's no Sigourney Weaver, nothing. The only callbacks we got was, obviously, the Proton Pack, the Trap, Ecto-1, and... To me, what looked like Goza or Zul's foot. One of those. And I cannot wait to see this film. It is, I think it's going to be brilliant. They're all back in it. Obviously, sadly, Harold Ramis died and he can't be in it. But it's great to see that they are pushing forward. That these are his grandkids and his daughter or his daughter-in-law or whatever. Because we still don't know which one is his child you know but leaving all of that haven't seen a ghost in 30 years i love that line by the way because that's another one up to these people and i just cannot wait for it until next year if you are new to the channel please like and subscribe hit that notification bell for future updates and i'll see all you wonderful people soon